Got another Buick over here. This time it's a 94 Roadmaster sedan. Which is the only B body I have not had yet. I bought this one off eBay. Uh, picked it up. Uh, she won a bid for $510. And uh, just got it home today. Got 133K on it. Runs and drives. Transmission has shifting issues. And it's got some rot. See, that's the worst of it. Got some here, too. Nothing terrible, but aside from that, it's a pretty clean car. Got two different hubcap sets on it. <clears throat> and it's a big old boat. Uh, I just like all my other cars, it's an LT1. And leather interior. And aside from that, it's pretty base. No Twilight Sentinel, like my other cars. And it's got a standard manual mirror. And then on the map lights up here. Basic cassette radio. Uh, but interior is in very good condition. Original owner took very good care of it. And you can see the whole car, it's clean. Spots like there's some bubbling starting up here. New tires. The rears I looked at them, they are actually white walls flipped the wrong way. Those are black walls though. Top the hood. This is hood ornament. It's up there. LT1 350. Runs good. And she started up. And it's a pretty loud ass car. That's something I have to address because the uh, previous owner, before the guy I bought it from, bought it, did this. The cherry bombs with the dumps right there. Which, uh, loud and horrible on the highway or pretty much any amount of driving there's so much drone in this car <clears throat> can't even enjoy it <laughs> so i have the uh, original exhaust system off of the impala and this stick on there so i like the buicks to be quiet also i use the right key Except the exhaust is done right in that car and it's loud and it just sounds good. Uh, these few things. You know, I've got to. Little one that's missing. Shocks. They don't even exist. Brought this thing oh, uh, home on the. Uh, took the Port Jefferson ferry from Long Island where I picked it up. 
And just sitting in the car on the ferry got me seasick as the car shook so much back and forth. And I don't know, motion sickness, and that bothered me. So these shocks are shot. <laughs> but just bouncing, and you can tell they're original and blown. But with the rust and everything, it's very clean for a New England car. You know, it was originally from, uh, I think, reports at Stamford, Connecticut. Which is actually where it was bought. And it's been here its whole life. Yeah, I mean, this stuff's usually rotted or just rusty as hell, like all my other cars. But it's not. It's just out of the cores went like that. Can't really see shit, but you know, the floor pan is very clean. You can expect a lot worse out of a car with rot there. So it's nice. I have to find a couple hubcaps to make a match. I hope to find this style. I like this style. Not much of a fan of the other ones. Don't really care for these. Mm, bumper here's a little screwed up. Yeah. And he's a bumper cover. Not bad. Yeah. The guy was nice enough to let me borrow his plates to get it home. I gotta return those tomorrow and then get this thing on the road. Now in the meantime, I'm gonna throw the Impala's factory exhaust thing here, quiet it down, and drive it. And see if it fixes that transmission issue. Got a code for the TPS sensor. I'd like to think that's related, which it could be, but it probably isn't. But what the issue is, is a uh, second gear to barely exists. It'll just uh, start, you know, it won't jump out of first gear. It'll just sit there revving, and then if you let off the throttle, it'll just kick down into it. So I heard it could be a servo. Find out. I'm going to place all that shit before I uh, throw a tranny in it. Yeah, here's the uh, new white whale.